So today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday go-to makeup for work, for school, for going, being lazy. I say this is my go-to back-to-school makeup just because if you're really lazy and you want to look cute on your first day, then this is the look for you. But you could also go to work like this because this is sweat proof not really but I'll just say it is because it's still on my face by the end of the night so um yeah I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and thanks for watching I'm gonna be saying this all over again at the end of the video anyways so I'm sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder but that's the end of the look Hey guys, Jo Marie, and today I will be doing a get ready with me because I haven't been filming videos for a very long time. It's been like how many months and summer's almost over, so I decided I'm gonna film a video today. I'm taking my Milani Prime Shield face primer just to prime my face. It really helps with people who have, what's that called kind of skin? Oily skin. I'm not really focusing on my forehead today because I'm actually going to work, so this is kind of like my go-to every day going out makeup like when I'm wearing a hat so it doesn't really matter so the lighting wasn't working properly so I had to fix it <laughs> continuing on I'm going to be using my redhead brow color from Colourpop just to do my brows and I don't know my eyebrows have been really whack lately um, because I need to grow them out but I'm too like I don't know I've been like plucking them too much now that I'm done with my brows, I'm just going to clean them up with a little bit of concealer. That's what I normally do, so it doesn't really matter. Sometimes I use concealer, sometimes I use foundation. But today I'm going to be using my Anastasia Concealer in the shade 3.5. This is a bit lighter than my actual skin shade. Skin shade, my skin color, skin shade, not skin tone. But I'm just going to trace underneath with this concealer. And I don't know, like, some people like their brows highlighted, which I do, and I'm blurry. Some people like their eyebrows highlighted, me. And some people like their eyebrows really natural, but I like it when it looks like it's highlighted. So I use a lighter concealer for under the, the eyebrows. I'm just using my Urban Decay brush that came with the Naked palette, and I think it's really nice because it has a flat end. I always auto focus on me, girl. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my homies, <laughs> all my friends who've been wanting me to film a video, but I haven't because I'm like really lazy and busy all the time. But now I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics brush. Doesn't really matter. This is just a random brush. And blend out the concealer that I already put on. Yeah, just shout out to all of you who are always there for me because I'm always there for you when you watch videos like like I love I love it when my friends start making videos or like film videos it reminds me of myself like right now now I'm gonna be using my two favorite BB creams for my skin I don't like using foundation because I'm scared I'm gonna break out like drastically but I use BB cream because I have like at the moment I'm having like acne scars so they're all over the place I repeat I'm not putting some on my forehead because I'm wearing a hat today so no but I use a darker BB cream and a lighter BB cream because I have the perfect shade and my neck does not match my face and I'm just using this random brush to blend out my BB cream I don't know about you but I really want to splurge on Mor Morphe brushes or um, like because Morphe brushes are supposed to be very like affordable but your girl does not have the time to save money like I always buy things like I spend literally all my money on food like and going to the movies like that's all I do because I'd rather have fun than have something that lasts for a long time uh, which is a bad thing once that is blended out as you could tell my forehead does not match my face and if you need a little coverage as you could tell I have like dark spots I'm just gonna blend it. I usually use my Neutrogena one. This is go to, and I will always be using this unless they find a new powder that has good coverage and is good for the skin. I'm just gonna be patting this all over my face. It looks like a flat pancake, literally. So I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild palette that is really good. It gives you a nice bronzy look, and I like using it because it gives you that nice bronzy look exactly what I need so. so I just contour and put it like up my cheek so it could give you that nice blush look of, like if you're really lazy so 
I'll be taking my Lorac Pro Contour Palette just to contour my nose. You can tell your girl needs help. A brush I got from Katy Perry. Just kidding, Mother Kate. And I'm going to use that to just contour the sides. So it won't look that flat. And I like having a button nose. So I do a little like a circle right here. I just do that. And bring it around the crease so it looks like a little more natural. It's like so. And I look like a mess. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is the normal Jillian. Her hair is always like this. I'm going to be taking my Carly Bible palette I got from my girl, Yvonne. First, I'm going to be taking my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. And it looks like this. It looks like a cute little honey thing. I'm just going to swirl it in here, tap it off. I'm taking this. I like so. And a little bit on my nose. Because I like that highlighted look. Like, I don't put that much because it's really pigmented. So I just tap off the excess and I focus it only on here. And then I add a little bit of the highlighter from here. And I use the second shade right here, which is supposed to be a gold shade. And this gives you a little oomph to the look. And then a little bit in the inner corner. So she looks like she's awake. So I'm going to be taking this palette that I got from Tarte. And I'm going to take this shade right here. It's like a corally shade right here. The contour slash blush. I'm actually done since I want to do a little extra because this is a video. I'm going to be taking my contour brush and just putting a little bit on my crease. So uh, I just literally made a mess. This is the end of the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, rate if you haven't. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my friends who are watching my videos. You guys are so amazing. Uh, follow my social media, like my Instagram, my Twitter, Snapchat. I changed my username, so I'll put everything down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.